Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your June 16th to the 22nd, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by the YouTube algorithm, which gets it seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And as always, the cards will tell you what you need to know, not what you want to know. Let's begin. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. We are crowned here with the Eight of Cups. So the Eight of Cups is a very intense ending. It can also be, I'm choosing me, which is going to lead to the end of certain things because I am choosing me. But for other, for others of us, Capricorn, this is going to be an ending as severe as a divorce. It can be a walking away from a relationship. It could be walking away from a job. It could be walking away from certain people in our life that just are toxic. So being aware of that, we're walking away because we're choosing us. And that is going to be just so important. And that is just so important. So this this week packs a punch. It does pack a punch. We have call here. Now call is judgment and judgment is reversed. So we, it's not about the judgment of others here that we are focusing on. It is the judgment of ourselves. How do we see ourselves? How are we moving forward for ourselves? What do we want to create? What do we want to cultivate? Where do we need to be? What do we desire? It moves us then to the three of cups. And the three of cups are the people who celebrate us. The three of cups are the people who raise their glass to us and say, I celebrate you. And they actually mean it. So that's going to be huge during this time. It's like, okay, look at the people who celebrate you, who love you, who are connecting with you, who, you know, do what they say they're going to do. That's going to be really, really beautiful. It then leads us to the emperor reverse. Now the emperor is Aries energy, March 21st to April, April 19th is the emperor timeframe. If we have Aries in our chart, if we have Aries in our life, this can just be difficult. We can also have a really hard time right now with the embracing of the sacred masculine energy within ourselves. This can also, this is also tyrant energy, okay? When the emperor is reversed, a bad ruler is a tyrant. So being aware of that during this time is going to be very important. This is also a negative father figure. So being aware of that is also going to be important here or, or a negative partner. So yeah, just being aware. It then leads us to transformation. And this is a death card. This is the dying away of the old self, the rebirth of the new. How we see our sacred, fem sacred masculine energy is transforming. How we are seeing ourselves is transforming. And we are starting to look at things much more introspectively, but also much more like, how is this serving me in my life? How is this moving me forward? How is this cultivating what I desire? And with the three of wands here reverse, we are going to feel like certain avenues that were open to us once upon a time, they aren't open to us right now. And we can feel frustrated. We can feel overwhelmed. But spirit's like, no, 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 no. They're closed for a reason. So we're going to try and fight and be like, oh, but I want to move it this way. And spirit's like, no, step back and look at things differently because you're going to be surprised at what is actually open to you. And it moves us then to the night of of pentacles. This is earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is us Capricorn. I don't know why I listed all the earth sign energy just to be like, it's us, it's us. And that's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be, that's why he's very sad. Okay. That's going to be how it goes. It's like, oh, there's this energy coming forward. And it's like, you know, going to do these really great things. And then we're like, oh, it's my energy. Oh, it's me. <laughs> you know, that's what I was looking for. It's going to be a bit of a surprise. It's going to be a little bit funny. So do be aware of that here with the night of of earth, there's the knight of pentacles. There is this real sense of I'm slowly and steadily moving towards my goals, my prosperity. We want things to move faster. Capricorn, we always do. And here's the thing. We're like the epitome of a late bloomer. All right. We are the epitome of slow and steady wins the race type of deal. You know, very much the tortoise and the hare analogy comes forward. And this is slow diligence. You know, people look at Capricorn energy and we're ruled by Saturn. And they could be like, oh, stubborn, you know, always about the rules, always about the structure of things, you know, and, and, and find it frustrating. Yes, some Capricorn energies can be very frustrating, get very focused on the rules of things without the, the beauty of, 
of the experience of it. But there's a negative side to every single sign. And here, this is the planning. This is, okay, well, how am I going to move this forward? And what am I cultivating? And what do I want? And where am I heading? And okay, let's look at this. Let's, you know, map this forward. Let's take a wider bird's view. And that's going to be important here, okay? There's, there's a sense of like, yeah, we can be the reckless daredevils, but that's not us. It's going to be something quieter. It's going to be something more rooted in the earth. And you'll get your best thinking done when working with objects of the earth. You can be gardening, you could be whittling, you could be knitting, you can be, you know, rock climbing, whatever it is that really connects you with the earth and has you in line with the earth, you're going to find that your best thinking gets done. And you're going to find that your best problem solving gets done that way as well, Capricorn. All right, so let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. So here we have compassion reversed. Are we compassionate right now? No, we're not. No, we're not. We expect the job to be done. We expect not to have excuses. And we are going to be very hypercritical on ourselves for not doing things instantaneously, perfectly. Very Capricorn energy coming forward here. You should know how to do it. You should be able to follow the rules. Just get it done right. And that's not going to be helpful for us. There is a need for compassion. There is a need for, for love. For others, yes, but mainly for ourselves during this time. It's like if you can learn how to be compassionate to you and accept your mistakes, your missteps, then being compassionate for others can come a lot more easily and can be a lot more natural because it's harder to forgive ourselves. It moves us then to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. Here we have love. Oh, I love this card. One of my favorite, the heart chakra, embracing love. Love is the most powerful word in the world. You know, however you say love in your native language, that is the most powerful, powerful word. And here it is embracing the heart chakra and it is embracing love and is seeing us move forward in love, seeing us move forward in compassion for ourselves. But it's not even just compassion, you know, because we have to work on that, but it's our hearts being opened to love. And it's just chanting love. It's just chanting love. You know, the exercise of what if all of this is gone tomorrow? How would we react to things? That's an important thing to say to us because sometimes we forget that nothing is a guarantee. And I'm not saying this to be maudlin. I'm saying this to release a lot of burdens that we carry, a lot of negativity that we, we bring forward because in the end, it, it doesn't matter. You know, in the end, yes, sometimes we do need to hold on to things and be like, okay, I'm not being you know, treated like that again or screwed over like that or anything like that. But embracing love and moving forward in love, it, that is going to be just so important. That is just so important here. It moves us to our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides. Show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is the three of swords reverse. Be mindful that it can be very hard to get out of the rut of pains that we have been through, of heartbreaks that we have been through, of despairs that we have been through. So just being aware of this during this time with the heart chakra, well, not with the heart chakra, but with the three of swords and the heart chakra, our heart is so open. And yet we can have these, these thoughts come in from the past of how we were hurt and how we were disappointed. And we can find it hard to release that energy. Now we start off with a release of that energy. So that's a really good sign for us that this energy to be mindful of is, is more easily overcome than it isn't. But with the eight of cups too, it can, it can be hard to walk away from things. You know, it can be hard to walk away from our initial response to how to handle situations or, you know, choosing other people over choosing ourselves. It doesn't mean that we're walking away from our responsibilities. You know, I never want anybody to think that. What it means is that I have to take care of me too, right? I can't, I can't drain me completely and leave me all alone. So here it is, it is looking at our way of needing to move forward in compassion, in understanding, choosing the joy in our hearts and the gentleness of life in order to embolden us, in order to move forward in grace. This is a time where it's not about everybody else judging you. It's not about the judgment of the outside world. It is about the intense judgment that we have inside our own heads for ourselves. We are judging ourselves, anxiety, you know, feeling like we've always misstepped, we're always going to make a mistake, 
just being aware of this during this time is going to be really important because nobody cares as much as we do. Like nobody cares as much about ourselves and our day-to-day -day actions as we do. And so showing ourselves again, confession and grace, that's going to be really important with the three of cups celebrating ourselves, surrounding ourselves with people who celebrate us, meaning that they say like, you know, yay, good job, good win, you know, type of thing, instead of always making it all about them or knocking us down or, you know, whatever it is, just be mindful about that. We are really dealing also with tyrannical energy during this time. Either we are very used to it, you know, we grew up with tyrants in our lives that controlled things and, you know, manipulated things. And we can find that energy to be very hard to deal with or that we're always attracted to people who are tyrannical because it's what we're used to is like trauma pain <laughs> comes forward. And also we can, we can also find it hard to connect with the sacred masculine. And that is an interesting thing because we're made up of the sacred masculine and the sacred feminine. So when we find it hard to embrace half of ourselves, that's not cool. That's not good for us. So we can do the meditation of connecting with the sacred masculine, which is just simply taking a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you, and chanting sacred masculine, sacred masculine, sacred masculine. What does that feel like to you? What does that mean? Does it bring forward security and comfort and, you know, love? Does it bring forward inadequacy and judgment and yelling? And then we can compare and contrast to the sacred feminine. So chant sacred feminine, sacred feminine, sacred feminine. What does that bring forward? Does it make you feel loved? Does it make you feel safe? Does it make you feel secure? Does it make you feel taken care of? Or does it make you feel belittled? Does it make you feel like you'll never measure up? Does it make you feel abandoned? And it brings us then to this transformation energy that's coming forward. It is, it is the fact that we are transforming, but we're also seeing ourselves as transformative beings. We are not the same person that we were when we were five years old. We're just not. We're very, very different than that person with our worldly understanding and with the way that we connect with the world. And so seeing ourselves as constantly being reborn within this world is a very beautiful way to look at the gift of life. And it brings us then to the three of wands and the three of wands reversed is, is saying to us, you know, doors are closing. It's not like the two of, of, of wands, which is like doors literally close, but it's like certain paths that we thought, oh, that path, that way, that person's going to come through. Things fall apart. You know, certain pathways, it's like, oh, no, you can't go there. Road's blocked. Oh, we were supposed to get that shipment in. This time it's delayed or it got lost in transit or, you know, whatever happened. Those are the type of curveballs that are going to come during this time because it's going to make you look at things outside of the box. It's going to make you go outside of your comfort zone. And it's going to show you that you are the hero that you've always wanted to be. And you're embracing here the the night of, of Earth. You're embracing yourself as the night, planting growing, connecting with what you want in your life. And as you do this, you bring forward prosperity, you bring forward success, and you bring forward bounty. And you start to say to yourself, what do I really value? What do I want to spend my time on? Where, where do I need to be for me? Not what does everybody else demand of me? Our subconscious spirit message here is manifest reverse. We are having a bit of difficulty with manifestation. And that difficulty can be that we are in a negative mindset set. And instead of manifesting all the good things, our mind either consciously or subconsciously goes to the negative, And we find that we're manifesting more of that, which is just a stinky cycle to be in. Nobody likes that. But sometimes it happens. Manifestation reverse is also telling us, hey, listen, your mind matters. Where your, you know, wandering thoughts go to matters. What do you want to manifest? What do you want to bring forward in your life? Or do we not practice manifestation at all? Do we think, you know what? It's a bunch of nonsense. I tried it, read the book, The Secret, you know, watched the movie, didn't work. What do you want from me? It doesn't mean that what we put out into the universe that we want to manifest forward comes instantaneously. Sometimes it takes decades for it to come forward. But if we say, this is what I want, and we give ourselves a goal to like focus on, it's kind of like teaching somebody the alphabet, right? It's like, these are the 26 letters you have to know. Now you have a goal uh, or making a list for the day. It's like, okay, now I have a goal. Now I have a way to do things. All right, I got it. And so here with manifestation, it's like, okay, what do I want to manifest? 
you know, do I want to completely change my life by the end of the year? Do I want to, you know, manifest wealth? Do I want to just focus on wealth, money, what I value as much as money? Do I want to focus on family? Do I want to, what do I want to focus on? And Capricorn, ask yourself this, what do I want to focus on? What am I afraid of? What am I afraid of claiming? Because what am I afraid I will be the tyrant over? What does success look like to you? But it has been morphed in one way or another to make you a tyrant. And you don't want that. So it's like, well, I, I'd rather not be successful then. It's like, well, you know, throw that idea out the window. You want to be successful. You know, there's varying levels of success and varying ways of defining it. But let yourself be successful and do not be afraid that you will be a tyrant. Come to everything with love, compassion, and gentleness and see how it brings you forward. It moves us then to our chakra energy. And this is again, the heart chakra. It's the inner child. Connecting with your inner child, you know, seeing the person that you are now, swooping the child that you once were into the biggest hug and saying, I love you. I'm here for you. I will always listen to you. I will always love you. I will always respect you. That's astounding. And so connecting with the inner child is just so important. And there's no blockage here. So it's like connect, connect, and you will be surprised what that little kid says. It's kind of like out of the mouth of the babe, right? You will be surprised what your inner child tells you. It moves us then to the energy to be mindful of. This is the King of Cups reverse, water sign energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. This is emotional manipulation. And this is somebody who, you don't have to be close to this person. They can just read a room really, really well and know how to take certain people down. So just be aware of this. And it moves us then to our subconscious energy, tarot energy. And this is a seven of wands. Be aware that we can feel like it's a constant fight. Everything that I achieve, everything that I go after, everything that I have is a constant fight. And spirits like stop the fighting. Stop it. And it, it's, it's us becoming aware of like, you know what? I'm wasting my energy trying for this and trying for that. I am now simply going to embrace my love my calmness and my grace. And I'm going to open up the door to me in the most profound way. All right. All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Capricorn. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.